So we finally got the visitor guide done at work and I had a fun time designing it and laying it out and the cover is the Canyon Coaster. So today we have a bit of a special treat. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Revelos. My name is Francis and I like making videos and sharing my experiences. If you're new to the channel, you'll find videos on my labors love and my life thank you for the support so right now i'm on my way to canyon ski resort to the canyon coaster because the canyon coaster opens this weekend on saturday so i got to try out the canyon coaster last year second time's a charm <laughs> And this year they're doing another industry night, so we'll, yeah, we're headed out there so that way we can ride the coaster again. So I just wanted to say that I'm not getting paid by Canyon Ski Resort or Tourism Red Deer to make this video. I'm just doing this because I wanted to share my experience. And this thing that I'm pointing at right now is going to be where the new Red Deer attraction of the summer tube slide is going to be. So this is the first I've been back to the Canyon Ski area since the winter snow tubing. And a lot has changed in this area. I'm trying to see if I can find a stand. Okay. Right? And this summer, we're gonna have that cool summer tube slide. And I also just wanna thank Robin and David for allowing us as Tourism Red Deer to come here and be a part of this kind of soft opening to prep the staff before the grand opening again for the summer, uh, May, this May long weekend. Oh, cool. That's different. Oh, it's the photos. That's new. It's worth it. That's new. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we were here, it rained a little bit, so I'm kind of glad it's, it's a beautiful day today. A lot of new stuff here. They have a speaker up there, which is kind of cool. <laughs> the lineups with the snow fence. Ethan's mom. <laughs> Any questions about the park? No, all good. Yeah. Just gonna double check your seatbelt. Yeah. Nice and stacked up there. All right, and you've read all the rules and regulations of the track? Yes. Awesome. Those two big ones that I want to point out is no stopping on track. And if you do approach the rider ahead of you, you want to keep a, keep a 50 meter distance. So if they slow down, you have time to react. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, can you give me a thumbs up that you understand those rules? Awesome. <laughs> uh, when that light turns green, you're you're good to go. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Are you came with two red deer? Yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. All right. Well, have fun. Thank yeah. you. Down, it gives you time to react. Can you give me a thumbs up that you understand those rules? Awesome. Uh, when that light turns green, you're gonna be good to go. All right. Have fun. Thank you. So, you guys. Uh,
I lost my hat again. Oh no. <laughs> I'll go grab it, it's by that house. How's your ride? Good. Good, you got, you got one fast? Yeah, I didn't put the brakes on. I lost my hat though, so. Oh, I lost your hat? It happens. Oh, it does. It's all about, it's up by the house at the top there. By so. the house there? Yeah. yeah. I'll grab it. <laughs> that was embarrassing. How was it? It was great, buddy! Yeah! <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> So this is just a nice relaxing ride all the way back to the top. I lost my hat. I know where I lost it. I've walked this before so yeah that's how fast it goes and this year I didn't use any brakes going down so yeah I almost let this camera go but I didn't so I'm glad I'd rather save the camera over the hat so yeah it's kind of hard to hang on to everything one-handed so but yeah got the GoPro so we're good to go. Take a nap. Nicole should be coming up any minute now. And Michelle's up there. I lost my hat somewhere over there. <laughs> it's funny, I was here um, at the tube slides during the winter time and same thing I had a hat on and I um, lost it on the tube slides so yeah this seems to be a reoccurring thing here <laughs> oh man this is super steep and just for the record you shouldn't be holding a phone or holding a camera the rules strictly say that you could lose those items and hats as well but I'm I'm horrible. Last year I was a little bit leery of getting on these things going up the hill because I was afraid it wouldn't pull me up with my weight, but these tow bars are incredibly versatile, strong, and super safe. And there are stop mechanisms just in case it does snap, which it won't. All in all, it's a super cool ride all the way back up, very scenic, quiet, and you can see all of the river valley, so awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. I lost my hat by the house there. <laughs> all good though. Did they not tell you to? No, it's all good. <laughs> How was that for you? Very good. Come on. Here. There we go. Yeah, it'll be the buckle in the middle. Right here. And you'll just pinch those two silver things. Perfect. There you go. How was your ride? 
I lost my hat. <laughs> it flew. I know where it is, roughly, but I'm not gonna go look for it. If I get it back, I get it back. It is what it is now, I guess. Well, thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. Did you enjoy it at least? Oh, yeah. That's good. Are you guys going again? Yeah! All right, guys. So I am on my way home now. And that was my 2023 ride on the Canyon Coaster. I'm probably gonna come back here sometime this summer, ride again, film, and that sort of stuff. But yeah, the Canyon Coaster opens this weekend, so check it out and have fun. It's like, it's a sweet ride. If you guys like that video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, then that bell icon for more notifications from the Revelos. Thank you guys for watching. Every interaction with you guys helps me grow this channel, and I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys.